What's up, everybody? Welcome back. This is Whiskey Happens. I'm not going to say his name because he hates it, but I'm Travis Martin. So, um, hey, maybe I hate it when you say your name. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Maybe he does. I don't really care. <laughs> uh, we got, I think, our first, no, second, second, second Texas whiskey. Yep. Woman owned distillery. I just learned that thanks to Travis. Um, this is a goody goody store pick, age four year single barrel, coming in at a blistering 122.82 percent. So, um, I think that's great. I mean, it doesn't drink like that. Cat's out of the bag on that, but um, I'm excited to see what you think. So, let's yeah, get into this. I'm kind of excited about the brand. Uh, Spooky introduced me to it earlier this year, sent me a handshake, uh, not from this bottle, but based on what he shared with me, I actually purchased. A similar bottle, not this. Uh, mine came from Party Stop. And now that I think about it, are all of their single barrel store picks? Yeah, I think. Because I believe I've seen it on the shelves and there's a sticker on it as well. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen one that's not. Um, but I do know that's something that they love doing uh, at Millen Green is the, is the um, single barrels. So. I am getting sarsaparilla. Uh, that's a tinge of cinnamon. Wasn't really expecting that at all. No, I'm getting tangerine. I'm getting a lot of um, baking spice. A little bit of um, a little bit of like a, a charred oakiness, but not that much. Like just a hint, which is which is a great. I mean, but at 122, almost 123 proof, you kind of get that. Yeah, there's also the obvious ethanol. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let's get into it. Now, immediately on the paddle, the first thing I get is green apple. Uh, completely shines through. More of the bacon spice um, comes through. Doesn't, I was hoping it was gonna taste like a cream soda or root beer, didn't happen. Um, that's okay, like I'm not disappointed by that. Just when I smelt it, I was like, oh, I haven't yeah. smelled that in a long time. Yeah, I get, I get a lot of like uh, warm, pie like apple pie or like um rhubarb pie like i get a lot of that deep kind of richness with um with a really well done pie i love that and i also get a little bit little hints of like dark cherry and a little little bit of coffee kind of coming through on it which i like yeah i think definitely on the back end of it that there is a stone fruit element uh that i do rather enjoy and i think for 122 proof this, I don't know if I've had something this hot that is so creamy. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And that's what I was going to say. It really coats the back of your throat. It does a great job of kind of staying there and being very viscous, which um, at 122, sometimes you get, but a lot of times what you get is that um, really, really um, burn on the back. So. I remember if you like these videos, so like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you've had Milliman Green. Yeah. Uh, it's new to us. It shouldn't be, but it is. It is. We're going to start doing a few more Texas whiskeys because we're in Texas and we should. This opens up in such a unique way. I'm, um, it's like Asian pear. With a... Floral note, Asian pear, floral, caramel. I, I want to say got richer. Yeah, it, it's definitely it's it's definitely um, rich. Uh, I get where you're going though with the floral note. I get kind of that. Um, I don't want to say grass, but it's it's almost like it's very very herbal. Like it's. Um, Almost like a really good gin and tonic. It doesn't taste like gin and tonic, but that feeling you get, you know, with a really good gin and tonic, mm -hmm. um, that's what I get the feeling of it as the as it finishes. It's just the mouth feel. The mouth feel. Yeah, it's nice. Very nice. Um, now we're gonna try it with the Coke. Yep. My expectations for this is that I might not like it because I think I've already made up my mind. That needs to be mixed. <laughs> hmm. 
interesting. Interesting at 122 proof. We don't put a whole lot of coke in it, but even with that, it, it's not a whole lot there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't get a whole lot of bourbon with that now. Really? Because I'm going to... I'm going to mix this a little bit more. I think everything I was looking for in the nose just happened on my palate. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not going to lie to you and say it tastes like a, a root beer by any means, but I think playing with the ratios a little bit, it's quite tasty in the Coke. Oh, I agree. I mean, I agree with you on that. I actually enjoy it. The, I added a little bit more as well. I think just adding a little bit more to it you get a faint now hint of Coke. Um, so it, you're right, it's the ratios. Yeah. It's like, if you don't add too much Coke, you get a lot of like, you get that little bit of sweetness on the back end, but you get really just that um, forward note of, of, a, of a good bourbon whiskey. Agreed. Like, um, <laughs> may I put whatever I think the perfect ratio is down in the comments. Yeah. Um, that being said, how are you gonna rate this? Neat Rock Coke. I'm going neat all day. Neat I, all day. I just like it neat. All day. Neat all day. All day. How about you? I'm going to go rocks. Okay. I'm very surprised. The Coke is a close second. Yeah. Like maybe once I figure out the proportions, yeah. it could take the number one spot. Yeah. Uh, but rocks for sure. I enjoyed the uh, the floralness. Very surprising. I don't normally do that. I complain about it with fries all the time. Yep. Um, but for whatever reason, it works for me here. That's awesome. I love it. Well, that'll do us for our review of Milliman Green. Um, if you get a chance, go try them out. Um, I think they're doing some really great stuff, and I'm excited now to try some more bottles. That out they've in got. Uh, Blanco, Texas? Blanco, Texas. So, whether you like a neat, on the rocks, or a Coke, whiskey happens. Cheers, Cheers. guys.